Oh, I tell you, well, it was a long trip. It was it was 36 days, um, but it was uh, it was a really exciting trip because we just got into so many conditions. You know, uh, dead wind went up to 35 knots. Um, we really went through everything. Was on every point of sail. Uh, so I think for me, the most fulfilling thing was just to see how the boat. I, I to learn how the boat performed in all those conditions and and, and, and kind of see how it all works. So it was it was really kind of a dream beginning trip. Uh, for, The trip started out downwind, um, and uh, uh, after the first day, the, the, the wind just kind of cut out, and so we were dealing with kind of 10, 12, maybe a 15 knot day would just be, thank God, right, right on, on our stern. And so, you know, having to sail, we didn't want to, we didn't want to conserve our diesel, we didn't know what was going on, and so, you know, figuring out how to move the boat in kind of those soft wind conditions was, 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 was uh, and it was great to see it. We, we just, we, the boat would just hum along. The first part of the trip was just kind of laying back and watching the spinnaker uh, pull us along and wishing we could get maybe 18 or 20 knots of breeze, yeah. but, but super excited about how we could get this boat moving. fastest we saw was uh, about uh, 21.1 knots uh, surfing down a wave. Believe me, we didn't want to be going that fast. <laughs> uh, it was a bit terrifying. It was in uh, uh, a winter storm that came down and hit us uh, just uh, in the uh, Bahama Channel area. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty exciting. Yeah, fortunately, we were hand steering at the time. Um, and so, you know, the boat handled world very well. I mean, the the, the port bow was, was underwater for a very long time. I was waiting for it to come up, waiting for it to come up, and man, it just popped back up, and, and we just surfed along. It was, it was just super exciting. Well, everybody, here we are. It's uh, Tuesday morning, local time, about 1.30 in the morning. Motor sailing along, we've got a jib out. Pretty, uh, pretty remarkable. Anything that happened was by and large self-induced. We uh, we had kind of a twist in the uh, uh, in uh, the, the double purchase uh, spinker uh, uh, hired that, that we should have taken care of, and we didn't, and then the rope kind of shaped on itself. So uh, you know we had to go to a single hired at sea, but that wasn't too bad. And really just a typical minor things, you know, pump not working, and you got to figure out what's wrong and that kind of stuff. So anything that came up pretty much we, we handled at sea and yeah, we're super, super pleased. Give credit to uh, to uh, Keith Phillips, the delivery captain. He was he was a very very cautious uh, captain. He took care of the boat while I was while I was busy saying, hey, let's let's go faster, let's go faster. He was busy saying, hey, let's let's remember we're in the middle of the ocean, and uh, you know we're not going to build fix things when they break. And so we we were a good yin and yang against each other, and uh, and uh, so we yeah we really really thankfully made it here. I think the scariest part of the whole trip was trying to get into this dock in uh, in about 30 knots of wind, and uh, that, that that was the scariest part of the whole trip. Mm -hmm. 